Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley and my brother Christian. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm at Ombu Grill in Koreatown and I'm super excited about this place because it's Argentinian meat and K barbecue. But today we're gonna focus on more of the Argentinian side and oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm I just kind of want to jump into it. This. Yeah, it looks so good. <laughs> We're taking pictures because you know the camera eats first. And, um, oh god, I'm salivating. So, okay. Ah! Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a new chopstick? <laughs> Don't want to save the day. I have new sukara, chokara. You won't. I won't try to be flashy this time. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. So what we have in front of us is pork belly. We have beef, and we have chorizo. And I don't think it's the regular, you know, like Mexican type of chorizo. This but, might be the better. But one. chorizo, I was told originated in Argentina. Men love history. Ding -da -ding. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. Oh my gosh, look at this fat piece of... All right, I'm, I'm just gonna try the same one after you and then we... Okay, so what's this one again? Pork. Pork, okay. Cheers. Cheers. Ding. Oh my gosh. Oh, mine, I have the end piece and it's got mm -hmm. like a crunchy char. Oh my so, gosh. That, dang. That had, the outside you usually expect it to be dry and like, and like stringy. No, that had the perfect outer crispiness. The inside was so moist and juicy and tender and like fatty. It was fatty. soft and then it, yeah, and it literally melted. The inside was like super duper soft, super soft, but the outside was like nice crunch. Oh my gosh. Are we supposed to eat it with the pico de gallo and or? So we have pico de gallo or just salsa and then chimichurri, which is I guess the normal way they eat it in Argentina. And then the cool thing is, cause when I eat meat, I crave um, like kimchi and like those pickled radishes and panchan, so they have it here, so it's just like a win-win. Mm. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to start. Right, I'm gonna just start the, This the is panchan. mook. I don't really know what mook is, but I think it's, it's, um, it's jelly and I like it. Yeah, no, no, I don't think it's like, yeah, it is jelly, but I forgot, is it made with like beans or rice or something? Rice what jelly? I don't know. I don't know. It's yeah, like I don't know. Flavorless jelly with some soy sauce and. You guys leave a comment a if you know because. <laughs> if you know, know, you know. Yeah, because we don't know. Oh well, we this don't know because me and my brother we're kind of what they call nowadays a banana <laughs> <laughs> or a Twinkie, <laughs> like yellow on the outside, white on the inside, because we grew up in um, Santa Clarita, which is very. Wide and We're predominantly Caucasian and um, not very culture. Not very cultured suburbs of Los Angeles. You might know it for Six Flags if you know California or Southern California. The theme park. And um Beef. Beef. And so yeah, we're pretty uh pretty much don't know <laughs> we don't speak Korean, so Chimichurri is so good. <laughs> I'm shook. I'm gonna try this one. Do it with the chimichurri. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. We're eating Argentinian meat with chopsticks. You know? Whoa. Ah, uh, ridiculous. The meat quality here. It's so. Also, the way that they grill it, because this takes like I, they grill it for an hour, because it's a thick cut of meat. They, they grill this for 45 minutes, and they grill that for I think 20 minutes. But bottom line, 
it's it's grilled slowly so the meat is just it has that crispy outside tender moist inside and I'm kind of freaking out why am I talking so much this is they're all so good though this one is my favorite so far with really? the with the chimichurri is that say that right chimichurri, chimichurri yeah this one's mm -hmm. my favorite what's what's this one called again beef <laughs> I was saying we grew up in a very kind of far away bubble from all of our like heritage and culture so I don't know when I went to um, college is when because I would never I didn't like it's so weird I didn't like Asian people I didn't like my culture I was so embarrassed of it um, but when I went to college I went to UC Irvine for his you know University of Chinese immigrants um, I had all Asian friends and I got introduced to food and my culture and I was proud of it. They were proud of it. And now I'm so proud of it. I want to be Korean. I'm I trying was, so hard. I was the same way too, but, um, you went to UCSB. You were such a party. Yeah. Animal. I think even after college, I was still like, eh, Korean because growing up, it wasn't cool to be Korean. It wasn't cool to be, you know, cause we were, uh, we were, especially where we were from, we were a, like a huge minority. Like I don't. I don't know any Koreans actually that, not even that I was friends with at all, like at my high school, like, um, so yeah, and, um, but it's cool nowadays how much, like, all the things that I'm interested in, like hip hop and all this, like, cool, like, you know, main, like, fashion, like, high piece fashion, like, Asian people are starting to represent now, and it looking like, people are starting to, like, yeah. Asia's taking over her! <laughs> I mean, Asian people are taking over! Yeah, we're, um, <laughs> Cause let's be honest, Asian culture is just cool. Our food's good, our <laughs> history, I don't know much. We're pretty cool. We're just cool and I'm proud. Yeah, so I think a little bit after, it was probably after college that I started to be like, you know what, It being Asian is cool. Like, it is cool. Like, and, and I also appreciate the food way more and um, mm. I remember being in like kindergarten back when um, my parents are pretty pretty uh, assimilated now but before young I remember being so embarrassed that they would pack me like Korean food I was in so a, embarrassed yeah, in my lunch in box. my school my mom would pack me pulgogi and rice and yeah. I was like eating it like this when I wanted the cardboard pizza from my cafeteria like what was I thinking I was so embarrassed of my mother picking me up in her pantsuit in her S500 Mercedes. I was like, mom, park up the street and come walk down and get me. Don't even walk down and get me. And now I'm just like, can you just drive me? Please. Yeah, I was- So weird. I just wanted, I just wanted like the Lunchables and the juice boxes like everyone Don't get else. me wrong, the pizza Lunchables are still they priority. Were bomb, but- Cold or microwaved. But- Let's be real. Nowadays, it's so weird. All I go is the Korean market. Everything every I have. Day. Yeah, every, every day. Yeah, every day. I actually love it. Oh. So the owner of this place is actually born and raised in Argentina, but she's Korean. Isn't that cool? So that's where she got this whole idea, the concept of the restaurant. Ombu Grill. So Korean barbecue and grill. So Ombu means like this big tree in Argentina. And I'm talking, I think she told me it was kind of like, the huge trees where you, it's so big you can literally have a cafe under it. Like, why don't we have that here? Our trees don't even turn red during fall. That's just California. California, though. you need to shake it up. That's just California. Yeah, we don't have seasons. It's okay. Look at it's beautiful outside. Do you see and this it's lighting? Winter time. <laughs> it's winter time, and I'm wearing short sleeves. And we look good right now, Christian. This lighting. I don't know. The lighting's good. We got this big window behind us. <laughs> in our faces. But yeah, I think that's tight that she brought her like her upbringing to Koreatown. Because in mm -hmm. Koreatown, people only come for you know, oh, key barbecue and soju. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now you can come here and do that. But you can also have bomb Argentinian. Yeah, meat. it's nice to have this available in a Korean setting. I have mm. to eat my greens, guys. I can't eat meat like this forever. <laughs> I'm 25 now. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. I swear. Mm. Which one's your favorite? I don't know. See, like, I just like, what, what, like, nothing's generally my favorite. It depends if it's just cooked well. 
like the pork belly's bomb, mm -hmm. and this is bomb, mm -hmm. so I don't have a favorite. It's just kind of my mood in the next five seconds doing a pork bump beef, uh -huh. chorizo, you know? Mm -hmm. mm. I gotta eat the mook. <laughs> oh, I want the mook. Mm. It's the only one I haven't tried. I went through, I went through the the gauntlet of panchan. You know what's so crazy nowadays too? We're Korean, but we're both creatives. We are not doctors. We are not mathematicians. Mm -hmm. We are just making it by using our cranium in rainbow ways. <laughs> I like the way you put that. That is true. Cause why you Asian people out there you know what your parents the upbringing's like? You ain't got A's. You know, you know what he taught me in college that just kind of ruined me, but also helped me a lot. <laughs> C's get degrees. <laughs> no. After that, degree. I never showed up to class. My average was like a, probably like a C average. But that's because I started out with an F average, and then I got like a B average, so I ended up with a C average. I can't get over this pork. <laughs> so the pork is your favorite. I like the chimichurri, I don't even know. Chimichurri's bomb. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah, I like the chimichurri. Mook is very slippery as well. <laughs> I can have some of this. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. So, I mm. love eating with my brother. I know. That's one thing that I, I love what we do is I get to hang out with Ashley all day, eat good food, and it doesn't feel like work at all. <laughs> so I love it. Like, I can't. So much fun. But one downside, because everyone's always like, oh, you made so much, I was so lucky, blah, blah, blah. One downside is you get thunder thighs and food comas hard. But we do our best. We do our best not to get it. To, to know that it's gonna happen and to fight off, fight it before it happens. So we go to the gym. I succumb to it. No, you don't. You work hard at the gym. Oh, I meant napping. Mm, napping? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh my goodness. Well. It's so weird, in college is when I really started to crave Korean food because I would eat Korean food all the time at my parents' house. And I was like, yeah, finally I have to eat Korean food all the time. And then I went to college and you have to like cook for yourself and fend for yourself. And I was like, like, where's my kimchi? <laughs> I feel weird because when I moved to Koreatown was when I started like, just like, being really Korean. <laughs> like, and which was pretty, I guess, kind of recently. I, I started like progressively liking Korean, being Korean more and more and more. I'm so college. Korean, I know the yeah. dance to twice. Yeah. But you too, but you two them. have been more Korean like, or I guess with music, K-pop. I have to show them. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely get censored if you played it on the phone. Okay, I'm done. But do you see? Also, actually, when I started dating a half Asian person who was super into their culture, it made me really want to be more Asian because I was like, wow, Asian culture is so good. Funny enough, a girl thing is completely white from the south. She's so Asian. And she's way Asian. <laughs> like, but has nothing like physically Asian about her. But like is like not just like Korean, like Asia. Everything. Like um, she knows everything. Like she uh like they'd be lucky to have her as like an honorary citizen. <laughs> she's so uh So into the culture. Yeah. Why wouldn't she like it? Yeah, now now I'm starting to see that. I used to be like, oh yeah, no. you know what the fuck, like, but oh, sorry, keep it, no cussing. But um, yeah, no, now now I guess it's cool. 
It's always been cool. These portion sizes are huge, by the way. Like, oh yeah, they don't jip you yeah, here. Yeah, we, we they do not jip you here. Like, I when mean, you go to quarters low key, they jip you. Ooh. But quarters, I love you so much. You're so much fun. <laughs> I love your kimchi pancakes. But you get a full portion of meat here. Yeah. How many could this be? Honestly, every time I eat, you know, I eat for like four people. We, we eat a but, lot. We eat a lot, and like we have not put a dent in any of this, and like. It's like, I'm starting to get full, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> mm, I love the scallion pancake. All right. Mm. I gotta try this with the, with the pico. You know what's cool about my brother too? I was the one who liked photography and now he's a photographer. I know, but, but I do owe a lot of it to you. That's to true. be honest, yeah, I liked photography, but but I got it. I was able to take it to the next level because I got so much practice on her, and she was like doing, she was doing the whole Instagram thing, mm -hmm. and I got more immersed in it, and then you, you were encouraging, but you were also like, let's go do this, let's go do this. So I just got. So I like much to get things done like uh -huh. quick, but now I'm grateful for it because. If I didn't have that. He looks up to me. I do look up. She's my little big sister. Ooh. My big, my big little sister. Or little big sister. I don't know. Synonymous. Mm. I love cilantro. Cilantro. Some people says it tastes like soap. I've never heard that. Trim thinks it tastes like soap. Either you love cilantro or you don't. I love cilantro. On cilantro everything. on pizza is bomb. Try it. Cilantro on anything is mom. I love cilantro. You and Matt would get along really well. Cilantro. Because we like cilantro. God, look at this glisten of this meat. Will it focus on it? I wish. My palate, it's getting better, but it's not really as refined as hers. Oh like, my gosh. Yeah, she can point out like cheap cuts, nice cuts, and all this other stuff. I'm kind of like, ah. But it's getting better. Unless it's just like ridiculous. Like, Unless the gap is just too... <laughs> that was a big bite. Mm. You look like a chipmunk. Cream mm. pancakes. I probably have so much cilantro and chimichurri in my teeth. 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 Beef. <laughs> Beef. <laughs> that, was, um, that was a little inside joke. She had a friend that they made like a video that should have gone viral back in the day. He just had to go beef. My friend Eric is, I have two friends that are the funniest people in the world and they could have killed it on social media but they just never tried. They should have. Yeah. You don't know funny and take nothing. Mm. I got it. Stupid on. All the punch on here is so good. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna show them a piece of this meat. No, go with this one. Yeah. Okay. I have cilantro in my teeth. Excuse me. Let me see. No. You have something orange on the bottom though. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright. Check out this meat. Oh, it's gonna drip on my camera gear. So good. Do you guys like ASMR? You know where you hear the eating sounds? So if I go in on some fried chicken, it's like, would you like that? And if it's a yes, why? I like I, it. I, like I don't it. understand. I, before I go to sleep at night, I watch ASMR videos or dog videos for about an hour. I mean, I don't, yeah, I mean, like there's some sounds that are comforting to me. I, I guess there's just some things you just can't explain. That chorizo is so good. It's not greasy or anything. It's just flavorful. It's not greasy. It really packs a punch. Oh, was this one mine or was it's that yours? Mine. Oh. Dang, you really like that chimichurri. You loaded that thing up. Now I'm about to piece of meat. Mmm. 
If you're wondering where this place is, it's a little hard to find. It's off Western, um, kind of in the plaza where Boba Bear is, and how do you pronounce it? Artil Artilier, Artilier, uh, sure. What? They have a big orange sign and valet parking. There's a lot of street parking nearby too. Let me see. I'll, I'll look up the address. No, I'll, I'll link it below. It's cool. Okay. I'll put all their info below, but guys, don't go to the all-you-can-eat places where the meat's just like tough and cheap and like let's be honest, where do they get it? Cricket, 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 cricket. I know. I also, one thing I do like about this place is like the ambiance too. Oh yeah. It's like really welcoming and... Mm. Honestly, like it's nice in here. We're in a private room right now. Yeah. And the grills, guys. They don't, st they don't make you they stink. They don't make you stink <laughs> because it's ventilated downwards. So none of the air comes up. You don't smell like barbecue and beef after. That is the key. Yeah, one of the things key. I... Key. Hashtag expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But everything here at price points, very, very, very reasonable for this kind of meat. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Mmm. Mm. And I eat a lot. I eat a lot of like kind of like poo poo meat sometimes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like this. It is bomb. Like every single thing. Oh was my delicious. god. What? Oh, you ate something spicy? Was this a bite? Oh, your face is turning red. Here. You need some water. I'm gonna freeze, no quitter. Oh my god. God, that is hot. If I ate that, you guys would be entertained because... Do it, please. Eat it? You want me to eat that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that in a very supportive way. <laughs> I'm not... Oh my God. All right. All right. I'm not gonna let you sleep alone. Really Yeah. Oh. I know. <coughs> it's in my furry. Just wait. His, his forehead just start crying. Mm -hmm. Not today. My mouth is burning. I'm heating up. I might, but maybe not. It's not gonna happen too much because I'm in the presence of my sister. I'm comfortable with her. But if I'm out in public and I eat something spicy, I start sweating and then I become. I become embarrassed because I'm sweating, which makes me like sweat even more, and and then I'm embarrassed, and then and then, and then once someone notices, oh my God, you're sweating, then it makes me even more embarrassed, and I just start dripping sweat. One and then one time, like I just looked like I ran like a marathon <laughs> at, at a nice dinner table. Oh my God, you've been hoarding your radishes. No, I didn't. It's been there the whole time. You didn't, oh. you didn't ask for them. I didn't see them. I don't... The one I ate, I don't think was as spicy as yours, but... Mine! But... Usually... Like a serrano will do it. Look, Asian taco. Yeah. <sighs> it's still burning me, though. God, I watched Bird Box yesterday. Was it good? It was good. It was good. Was it scary? It was so scary. Ooh. It was so scary. I don't watch scary movies ever, ever. The scariest thing I've seen is um in theaters. I am Legend. I am Legend. So scary. Yeah. I think the scariest movie of my life, it's not scary anymore, 
But when the ring, the ring came out, I was a little kid. I heard that was pretty scary. Yeah, scared the we pants got... off of me. Bird box. Yeah. Bird I box. <sighs> I'm... If that happens, like I, that night, I was scared. I had to walk. Um, the dog out to go to the bathroom right after I watched it alone, and I was like, I shouldn't be out here. I should be out here with blindfolds. I should be like, I shouldn't my my dog shouldn't be seeing any of this. I shouldn't be seeing the world. Mm mm mm. I closed all my blinds, all of them. What's up? I'm probably gonna watch tomorrow. What's like the plot of it? If you look at this like monster thing, they never show it. It's just like wind and the sounds. If you look at it, you go insane and you kill yourself. You kill yourself. So basically, you cannot look. You have to do everything by like hearing. Wow. It was so scary, like the whole movie, I'm like, you know what I mean? Where you're just like, you don't have, you can't, I, but at the end though, the end is so good where you're just like, oh, let the endorphins run free. And it's a Netflix movie, huh? It was bomb. Sandra Bullock, mm, favorite person.